was really strong. We were a bit fearful of losing the Bimini. And we had a, a stressful encounter or two sales. <laughs> Mess downstairs. Result of bad weather. <laughs> After several days of managing fierce winds and weather in Argeophimia, the time has finally come for the crew to set sail. Our destination today is Peleros, positioned along the west coast of the Ionian Sea, where we'll finally have our solar arch and lithium batteries installed, ready to power the rest of our 80-day journey. But as any sailor knows, the weather often has its own plans much different to our own. Welcome to Sailing Trinity Season 2, A Greek Sun Odyssey, around the islands in 80 days. Ready to dive into today's adventure, friends? If you'd like to see more of our odyssey, hit the like and subscribe button now. Your engagement does wonders for the channel. Without further ado, let's dive right in and escape the ordinary together. After a crazy windy weekend, time to leave here in Agia Ephemia. We are just re-preparing the boat and that includes putting our flags back on. We did take them down so as to not risk their, their demise. And we're just switching out from our bad weather spring lines that we use to give the boat a bit more give to just our normal lines so they're nice and easy to slip. We're going to slip lines very soon and head off. It's a big journey today to Pareros which we have been to when we were learning to sail, would you believe? And now we're heading back there to get our solar. <laughs> and once we have our solar, we can say bye-bye to town keys. And the only thing we'll ever need to come back to shore for at the moment is water, because we do not have a water maker yet. Captain, yeah. do you want to share anything about this place? Okay, so we're in a small marina uh, harbour in Agia FMA. We've had a few days that we've had to stay here for to allow a uh, weather system to pass by. Beautiful weather now. We've got a nice breeze this afternoon to help us sail to Paleros for the solar fitting. They sell nice t-shirts here. <laughs> I got a new t-shirt. Yes, for everybody that yeah, said get yeah. him a new shirt. There so he is. We got a new shirt. Nice new stonewashed Kefalonia t-shirt. We should pick up the afternoon northwesterlies and get a bit of a beam reach for an hour or two. But we are, our estimated time of arrival in Polaris is around 1800 hours, about 6 p.m. this evening. Oh, that anchor, that windlass, I'll tell you. Stunning. It's got the sword fishing bell. So I think one of our issues was because we had so much chain out, the chain started to pile up very high. So I think in future, I'm also going to use a boat hook when we're taking that much chain to guide the chain down to make sure that it doesn't get caught. Yeah, um, anyway, we're leaving now on our way to Paderos and on our way to get our solar fitted. Are you excited, Captain? Excited, Captain. Yeah, nice. Call and response. 
solar. With the anchor finally up, we set off onto a glassy sea. Our destination, Paleros, a charming coastal town in western Greece, nestled along the Ionian Sea near the island of Lefkada, and 32 nautical miles from our previous location. Greeted by a sunny sky and the hope of smooth sailing ahead, we venture on keenly. So we have a cargo ship off the starboard bow, traveling at about 26 miles per hour. Had a look on the AIS. We were on a collision course, but we've just corrected. They've altered, I've altered, and we're, we're grand now. Ah. Plenty of room. Yeah. You can see the glassy water here, it's a light blue. Mm. And in the distance on the horizon there, we can see the darker blue that indicates wind. All right, let's get so, a shot of that. When we round this cape, maybe another five nautical miles, um, we'll put the sails out again. The wind's coming in from the northwest and we should have a really, a really good sail then for a couple of hours. Wow. That super yacht looks like it could be wow. in dense shelves in the mountains. It looks like a hotel. It does look like a hotel. Plenty of boats to watch out for. Plenty of boats to watch out for. It's windy! It is windy. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna put the sails up to give us a little bit more comfort. But the wind is coming in from the side. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna to want to take out the main to start with. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Leave that down and see what happens. Bumby ride. Healing over. We are on the side. As we sailed past the headland of Ithaca, the wind funneled down from the northwest, bringing vicious gusts and rapidly shifting conditions. And despite important solar plans were waiting us in Poleros, a detour was necessary. Seeking refuge on the leeward side of Atticos Island, we soon found ourselves anchored in One House Bay, hoping the wind would pass, allowing us to continue later in the day. Let's check in. was really strong we were a bit fearful of losing the bimini um and we had a, a stressful encounter or two with the sails so we just pulled into this anchorage just to have a break for an hour it's stunning really one of the most beautiful bays i've seen <laughs> mess downstairs result of bad weather <laughs> no it was a very like say exhilarating crossing coming over from if you could just add to us here big waves big waves we're looking at 30 knots we're doing almost 10 knots at the bear away. <laughs> Sometimes you need to make these decisions. Yeah, pit stop. We're gonna change the gas as well. A couple of errors. Just inhaled some of that gas. You get so tired, don't you? The sun and the wind and then the high adrenaline and then the come downs from that. How much further do we have until Poleros? Three more hours. This must hold us. We are going here. Still a bit gusty. I have after. I was actually going to try and have a very quick nap. <laughs> How dare you, Captain? Captain Nutbag does it now. Napping and yapping. There is a word in the state of crisis. Welcome to Escaping the Ordinary. 
intense. This is what deep. it looks like. Yeah, it's very hot, so I just put it on the mat. Ah, uh, thank you, Gretel. Easter biscuits. <laughs> Hansel was very hungry. Is that coffee or tea? It's tea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, the wind gust caught the. Yeah, that's not non slip. Bad things come in threes. <laughs> Three of us. Uh oh. <laughs> Trinity. Let's counteract that bad juju with some Trinity Geographic, shall we? One House Bay is a picturesque cove located on the small island of Atticos, part of Greece's Ionian Islands. The area is geologically composed of limestone, typical of the region, giving the cliffs a rugged texture that beautifully juxtaposes its crystal clear waters. The bay is named after a solitary house that sits near the shore, serving as a distinct landmark. The anchorage off the bay is popular, with a depth range of 5 to 15 meters. However, as the seabed can consists of both sand and patches of weed, careful anchoring is recommended to ensure a secure hold. Speaking of, let me spin a little tale that may have something to do with today's unfortunate weather. In the epic Odyssey, Aeolus, the god of the winds, gives Odysseus a bag containing all the winds except for the favorable west wind. One day, Odysseus's crew, mistaking the bag for treasure, open it, releasing the winds and causing a storm that blows them significantly off course. Considering we've been following the story of Odysseus quite closely, perhaps we've mistakenly given the gods permission to taunt us as well. Let's see if that rings true with the crew. It's been about an hour since we stopped in this bay. I think all the stress um, and the adrenaline really builds up and then you calm down from it. And it's just a, I'm just being vulnerable. This is real, but life obviously it's going to differ from person to person. So we're actually gonna stay here this evening because we're still getting pretty strong gusts. I just can hear it. Yeah, we're not in the best frame of mind to continue a lengthy enough passage and it will be dark well, well into getting there. We've been to the marina in Polaris before, very small and tight. And presumably by the end of the night, it will be very full. So we're gonna just wake up at five and head off from here and get our solid on tomorrow. Wow, that's much better light, it's blue. That's crazy. All right, I'm blue if I was green, I would die. Three hours later. Coming above deck to watch the sunset. But let's look at the sunset. still see that beautiful turquoise hue even in the evening the gusts are a lot less frequent now and they have calmed down but yeah, i'm looking forward to a sleep i mean it's 8 p.m and the sun is only setting we've been holding well the last few hours at least so we have the anchor alarm on of course the drag alarm <laughs> we'll see how we go <laughs> One house bay. They weren't lying. It's only one house. <laughs> Wind still howling. It was a long and anxious night, surrounded by rocks and unpredictable gusts. None of us got much sleep, constantly perking up on watch to make sure we held firm. Soon, first light arose, and we followed suit. One house bay for your refuge, kind of. None of us slept. <laughs> With the morning light came calmer seas and skies. Though we were all running on little sleep, it was time to press on. With a quiet wind behind us, we set off towards Poleros, which is now only 19 nautical miles away after a total of 13 made yesterday. We then began undertaking the rest of the journey to this well-traveled Ionian town. So we had a, an early departure this morning from our refuge from yesterday's winds on Atticos One Horse Bay. Pretty sleepless night. Atticus one, one house bay. Uh, we didn't get a lot of sleep. 
uh, we took turns. We had the anchor alarms on and all that, but we were still quite nervous. We were close to it's a small enough bay. Sharon stayed up, she's in bed at the moment, trying to catch up. We're on our way to Paleros now. It's a straight run, motor all the way. We're heading directly north at the moment, so we should get some protection from Meganesi, which is up on the port side. We're coming up to that now in a minute. It should be a fairly straightforward passage. We did have a place booked in the marina last night and I read some messages this morning saying that uh, we might have lost that so we'll, we'll see, hopefully when we get there we don't have too many dramas Um, we are just a couple of minutes outside of Poleros Marina. I'm still trying to get the Harbour Master. Uh, he's been switched out, so um, the, his phone number has changed. But I've got a couple of the guys that are doing the stealer onto him and trying to contact him for us as well. So I've just put the boat down into Harbour mode, and we'll just we'll just approach really slowly until we hear something back. With a bit of luck, we'll we'll hear from the Harbour Master soon, and we should it should be a fairly decent entrance into the into the marina itself. It's a very small marina, uh, three foot or th sorry three meter depth. For our draft is two point one five, so it's it'll be it'll be close. It's very slept this morning. <laughs> We're up <half> an hour. <laughs> oh. It's actually very comfy. Wind gusting. And I thought that was going up. I really liked Poleros, so I'm excited to return for the third time. So, good morning, everybody. I'm a little bit sleepy. Uh, I don't know if the guys told you earlier on and up, but uh, I stayed up on watch last night so that Martin could get some sleep. Bit, bit of a croaky voice. <laughs> you think I was singing? But it's a nice sunny day now. I'm so excited to be getting our solar panels installed and our davits, be able to get our dinghy on and off and become so self-sufficient. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait to keep you updated on it, guys. See you later. Well, let's hope that next update is a positive one. Remember, our unexpected stop off in Atticos forced us to rearrange our berthing and installation plans in Poleros. So we do hope all will still be a well upon arrival. Who knows? Guess we'll have to wait and see. Take a second to subscribe now and hit the notification bell to be the first ones to find out next episode. What did you guys think about Martin finally getting a new t-shirt? Share your thoughts in the comments below and we'll get back to you. We can't wait to escape the ordinary with you. See you there, guys. Bye.